Just gone 10 past 8, BBC Newcastle Radio for the North East. Now, Lama Oile Noidl is not your typical Buddhist teacher. He doesn't wear robes, he hasn't got a shaved head, uh, oh, and he rides a motorbike as well. But the Danish Lama has been on Tyneside this week. He's been visiting the Diamond Way Buddhist Centre in Walker for the first time to in inaugurate their new meditation room. Uh, he also gave a lecture at the Discovery Museum on discovering the nature of one's own mind. Now, I spoke to him earlier on during the week, and he told me more about the teachings of Buddha. Well, actually, Buddha taught uh, for three kinds of people. I mean, Buddha starts with self-responsibility, that we understand we are here because of former acts, words, and thoughts in, in former lives, right? So, I mean, starts with self-responsibility. And then from that level, some people want to get rid of their problems. They work with causality. Some want to be useful to the world. They work with motivation. And some actually have the feeling that the Buddha is not a god or a person or something separate, but a mirror to their own spirit face, you know, that he's showing us all something we have, that he's not giving us something we don't have, but removing our veils, which keep us from recognizing what we really have. You, you were talking there about uh, a previous life, because that is something Buddhists believe in reincarnation, is that correct? Yeah, I mean, many of us remember things. I was a soldier in East Tibet last life, and I was protecting the population, and I was together with my teacher and my wife and so on, and the karmic connections we have, they bring us together life after life. Now, we know that uh, meditation is very important. W what are you actually meditating on? Well, depends. Again, <laughs> there is a question of creating a distance to what's going on. That's if you want to protect yourself. Then there's a question of starting a meditation with the wish to become enlightened so one can benefit everybody and finishing it by sharing the good feeling with everybody. That's on the level of motivation. But the highest level of meditation means behaving like Buddha until one has become a Buddha putting on the beautiful mask again and again until one discovers that it was always our face, that we were always that. Is the is position important? Because I noticed, you know, you know, when you see people meditating, they're sitting cross-legged on the floor and some people, you know, yeah. standing <laughs> on the head. I can hear you're no fan. <laughs> is, yeah. that, is that important? Mm, well, it's quite good for very advanced meditation, but if one can keep one's back straight, you know, and the feet don't fill up with too much blood, one can also sit on a chair. But the back should be straight and the chin a little bit in to while one focuses, and then it'll come out naturally when the good, good feelings arise, when the inner energies awake. I've got to be honest, you don't look like a Buddhist. <laughs> you know, you're, you're, sitting, you're wearing jeans, you're not wearing a gown, you haven't no. got your head shaved or no, anything no, no. else like that. I have a hundred parachute jumps, I drive big motorcycles, I, I'm, I'm simply not a monk. Right? Buddhists are not all monks. If we were, we'd be extinct within 30, 40 years, right? That no more Buddhists, right? We, I live a normal life. I speed. I hope we didn't get any tickets on the way here, I'm right? I'm sure and you didn't. <laughs> 69 <laughs> miles all the way. That's the speed limit. In okay, this good. Uh, you mentioned your yeah. parachute jumping. Yeah. Uh, you've done 100 parachute jumps. Yeah. Is it right that you got quite seriously injured on one of those? Yes, I did. I got into, I, s I made a very big mistake. I got into meditation. I was just sitting, learning how to sit in the energy stream. And the moment I sit, I'm in meditation, and I forget to look at the altimeter. So, woman, so you are dropping out yeah, of the I'm airplane, dropping meditating. In meditating posture, and of course, then I forget to look at the altimeter. <laughs> that I got quite bashed. So what happened then? Did, did you wake up at the last Yeah, yeah I woke up. Suddenly, the earth became very big, and that's a sign one is about 200 meters from the ground. Then first I learned, I said, oh, how interesting. Again, you have no fear. Then I thought maybe you should do something. So I went for the normal parachute, and then at that moment, the Cyprus, the extra security parachute went up, and that saved my life. But I landed on concrete, and I got really bashed. <laughs> and Lama Ole Noidel. Now, you can learn more about the Diamond Way Buddhist Center in Walker, by the way. They've got a, a website, newcastle.dwbuk. Org. And uh, if you're doing a parachute jump, don't try meditating on the way down. It does not work. <laughs>